Hey everybody, um, today we're going to be doing another one of the looks that came with the Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. That's this palette right here. Looks like this on the outside. Um, we've already showcased the top look up here in one of my other tutorials, so keep an eye open for that. Um, we're going to actually be doing this middle shade. It's got a deep dark purple over here on the end, kind of a lilac-y almost silvery purple and then it's got like a pink base a very light sheer pink base might I add I've already got it on so you can kind of see the pink tint to it from a distance my lighting is really horrible I need to actually get an HD uh, webcam but see it's like a very sheer pink um, I'll just apply it I, I just went through from my lash line up to my brow just to give myself a base for my other two shadows. Yeah, we got that on there. So you can see kind of pink, pinkish purple maybe perhaps. So we got that first color on here. Um, the card that came with it looks like this and it kind of has a guide basically to how you should be applying this. It says that I should use that second middle shade on the inner corner of my eye and then the darker shade on the outer corner. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow this image to give you the best depiction I can. Okay. See, we're actually going to use the same dome shape brush I used to apply all over my eye to apply this color. It's called Cut the Cake. That middle kind of mauve, I don't even know what color that is, kind of like a lilac y silver color. I can kind of see it on there. So we're going to do that to the inner part of my eye. Right there. And all these colors in this palette are very light with the exception of the colors that are on the end of each horizontal row which I'm sure are purposely there to create drama but basically this palette is just supposed to complement almost any girl any eye shape you really can't go wrong I do think this palette works best for people that have green hazel brown eyes though you could use um you could use it to, um, if, if you had blue eyes, like maybe use this middle one if you had blue eyes. But yeah, basically I've kind of got like a pinky, lavendery color going on. Don't know if you can see it, and I really wish this light wasn't so drowning. But it's very, very light. Very light. We're going to kick it up a notch and we're going to apply that darker color on the outer corner, which is called First Dance. Right there. Um, I'm going to actually use this brush right here. This do that. It's called the e.l.f. Um, blending Eye Brush. It's more of a crease brush. It's what I use it for. You can use it however you like. I'm going to apply First Dance. We're going to kind of cake it just on one side, tap it a couple times because this purple that's on the ends is very, very purple. So I'm actually going to use the card, which I do quite often, to put kind of in the corner of my eye like this. It'll give me a steeper angle and it'll keep me from getting a lot of pigment fallout from that purple. So that, like I said, I've already applied my foundation, so the last thing I want to do is get purple all over my face. So see, starting darker in the corner, working my way towards this part of my eye. Just building up that color. I'm 
Sorry, my computer kept shutting off. You see? About that much, but then when you remove the card, see, it's kept it right here where I want it to be. Um, it does create a little bit of a crease in your eye sometimes. If you push the car too hard, but it fades away. Um, so then I'm going to follow through by taking my angle brush, which is this one right here, and applying that same darker purple color to the lower half of my eye. And then taking my fluffy blending brush, two of which is missing right now. So I guess I'll just take my crease brush and just hold it towards the end for a lighter uh, blending effect. And I'm just gonna kind of go through in a circular motion and just make sure everything. I don't have any harsh lines where my color meets. Because you should never really have that. But you can see what I got going on. It's like a purple. Um creates a lot of depth in the corner of my eye. Very pretty purple color. Um, if I feel like I went too far down, you just wipe with your finger. I'm gonna go ahead and do it over here now too. Doing the same thing, sticking to the corner. Lining the bottom. My angled brush and then blending it all together. So, Sometimes I feel like I got a pull on my lid, especially my left eye, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my left eye. But see, now you just got this pretty purple, kind of like a, just a smoky eye. I would actually say this is probably, the day look was in my first video, but if you were going to go out at night with somebody, like on a date, this would be the, uh, the look for you. See? Take a good look at it. Um... Then I would continue, so you can really see the shape from far away. Then you can continue to go ahead and um, line your eyes if you wanted to. I actually have this really awesome thing that I use. I was using liquid for the longest time, and I love the look that you get from liquid, but I don't like how messy and hard it is to apply. Therefore, I discovered Maybelline 
Master Precise iStudio brush, or iStudio, um, I guess you call it like a marker kind of, I know it sounds weird, but it's exactly what it is, it's like a felt tip marker, it's very very fine on the ends, um, makes doing the cat eye a lot easier, I've always worn the cat eye pretty much ever since I can remember, but I mean now it's becoming more popular so they've kind of revolutionized, um, their their way of doing liquid now. It's definitely way different than it used to be. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get a good angle here. I gotta kind of see what I'm doing in the mirror. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. But you really just drag it. By pulling on your lid a little bit, you're going to keep from getting as many bumps. So see that? See the difference? You're, I actually taper my eyeliner. You could kind of probably see me do it. I start it thicker on the outer corner and I go thinner towards the inside. Let me just hurry and line this one. I don't want to take up too much time. I need to actually be a little bit closer. There we go. Okay. You know, I'm kind of in front of the camera probably right now. But. See that? It gives you just a nice straight line. It looks just like liquid. <clears throat> without being as messy as liquid. Because a lot of times when I was applying liquid to my top lash line, it was getting into um, into my eyelashes, so when I would go to apply my mascara, it was super duper clumpy, and it almost felt like it had hardened on my eyelashes. Really hard to explain, but it was very odd. Um, for doing a cat eye, I really just kind of line it up with the corner of your eye. The way if you were to hold it straight from where the under eye, kind of like how we do when we were applying the eyeshadow earlier, the purple, I do the same thing. And it definitely takes a little bit of practice to do this right. And my eyes don't always match every day, I'm not going to lie. But that's okay. You can see, it gives you a nice, uh, a nice line out towards the sides. I feel like it really draws the eye look together. Um, let me go ahead over here in the mirror real quick and do this other eye. Just because I can't get a good angle from that side. So see, you've got this nice angle going on on either side of your eye. I think it's really a romantic look. Um, as you can see, it just kind of narrowed out my eyes and made them kind of have more of a sultry look to it. And I do take my mascara. I don't always curl my lashes with, with an eyelash curler. This is one I got from Sephora. It's just their name brand eyelash curler. So I'll go ahead and do that for you since we are going a little bit um, more dramatic. So we'll just do this a couple times. Just like that. Okay. 
my favorite mascara is the one by one by Maybelline. They have a waterproof version, but the waterproof version is certainly waterproof and it's very hard to get off your eyes. So we're just gonna use the regular one for now. So, do that. I mean, you can go on, slap as many coats of mascara on as you want. That's totally up to your discretion. But with this stuff, I don't feel like you need a whole lot of coats. Because I don't want my eyelashes to look clumpy, and it seems like the more coats that you apply, the more likely you're going to get clumping. You can see I'm doing a second coat and it's already kind of not happy with me now. But I like my lashes to be just a little bit bolder. So there. We've got that. A little bit on the bottom. Just like that. And there you go. You see? I think it's a very uh, sexy eye look. It just makes your eyes look so um, so long when you do it this way. And that's what I really, really enjoy about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look straight at the camera. So that way you can really take in this eye look in the distance over here. Excuse me, I haven't done my hair yet. That's another tutorial. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Once again, that's a Too Faced palette, and this was the classic eye look today. Thank you very much for watching.